Brr. Ugh, I'm so cold. I have my jack blanket right here to keep my hands warm because they're so freezing. Ah! It's November 18th. You would think it was December. It's freezing here in Texas and I don't understand what that's about. Welcome to Weight Loss Losers. A great topic this week. How do you handle unsupportive friends and family? Not only during the holidays, but anytime. But the holidays are when they all come out in full force, right? Especially if you're one of us dieting, you're going to get the inevitable questions. Why aren't you eating that? Why don't you want some of Nana's pie? Why aren't you eating 17 helpings of mashed potatoes and gravy and stuffing and fried turkey? Well, then you have to face the music, don't you? So how do I handle people that aren't supportive of my weight loss or that want to criticize everything I do? The first step in this entire topic is to not hold it against them that they are not on the same plan as you or that they don't want to do what you're doing. I tend to reflect onto people what I think they should be doing. I'm that horrible friend. At least I was for a few months. At the beginning of my weight loss journey, I just figured, I made my mind up about all of this, so I want everybody to get on the same page as me or else you're not being supportive. That only lasted so long and it only caused a lot of chaos. This year when I show up for holidays, I just have to realize that I'm the one doing this, not everybody else. And if I'm confident in my eating choices, then I really don't have to sit there and defend myself. And if people don't want to be supportive, which sometimes is the case, I think it just comes from a lack of not understanding or your family just wanting you to indulge with them. I have a little trick. You need to stop and think about when people start giving you a hard time, it's not really about you. It's about them. And if you remember that, then it'll put you at ease. If Betty Sue is sitting across the table from you, she's got her plate filled with all sorts of devious food and says, are we on a diet this year? Are you trying to make us look bad? What's the deal? Why aren't you eating everything that everybody else is? Do you not like our cooking? Well, I simply say just stop. Don't get offended. And realize that they feel bad about their choices, not you. You've already made up your mind. You don't need to justify it. It just has to be you thinking to yourself, I know what I'm doing. I know why I'm doing it. That's it. You always know if somebody's coming at you attackingly instead of being supportive. And the best way to handle that is just flip it back on them. And let's talk about you. What do you do for yourself? How do you handle losing weight? How have you done it in the past? And it, then it just kind of deflects everything off of you. As you can tell, I don't like to be really confrontational, especially about this, because it's very important to me. And it's also a sensitive subject for a lot of us. So. I have learned through all the trials and tribulations of having arguments with people about my weight loss. And what they all think I should do, they know better, they're older, or they're younger, and they've got this thing going, and this plan works for them, and you need to do it, and if you don't, ah. That's the best thing that I can tell you to do. Always just deflect it back on somebody. That's a good maneuver in any kind of argument. People that help you too much, people that are really involved in your weight loss and get so gung-ho about it with you and get kind of overbearing, what did you eat today? Oh my God, are you tracking your calories? Um, I think there's only been a few times where my closest friends have gotten me all kind of goofy about that. And it's usually at a time where we all need to get back on the same page. Jealous friends. Well, I can say that I've been jealous of people for sure in their weight loss success. And of course we all want to look a certain way and be a certain way. But as far as friends being jealous of me, I don't think that's happened yet. And if I saw somebody starting to become jealous of me, then I would just say, I don't know what you're jealous of because this is hard work and I'm working damn hard to get to where I'm at. So there's really nothing to be jealous of. You know, if you want to see results, you just have to work at it, right? So I don't think any of us should be looking at anyone with envious and jealous eyes because we all know what we need to do. So on that note, <laughs> 
Stay tuned for Jason tomorrow. He's going to let you know how he handles this topic. Have a very happy holiday. This is the time that it kicks everything off. Christmas music is about to start playing. Oh my God, until January. Ah! Everybody have a happy holiday and we'll see you in a few weeks from now. Bye-bye.